All right, everyone, there were some sneaky changes to the Residential Tenancy Act earlier this month. So if you're currently a landlord or plan on becoming a landlord anytime in the future, make sure to pay attention because you're gonna need to know these things. Up until now, the landlord was only ever able to increase rent on the anniversary date of the periodic lease. Meaning that if you're in year to year, they have to give you notice and the rent can only go up when you hit your anniversary date. Now, a landlord can increase rent at any time with four months written notice and they can only do one rent hike per year or per 12 months. And yes, the rent cap still apply. So landlords can only increase rent by 2% per year, at least up until December of this year. If a landlord does give a tenant four months notice that rent is going up, that, that tenant is not required to stay in that unit until the rent increase comes into effect, they can give three months notice to the landlord and terminate their lease. So you can see where they're going with this. They're trying to improve the landlord side of things, they're trying to give the landlord a few more rights because right now it's extremely one-sided. But at the end of the day, I don't think the landlords are gonna care much. Landlords don't really care when they can increase rent if they can only increase it by 2%. So as long as the 2% rent cap stays in effect, landlords are always gonna view the Residential Tenancy Act as biased. There were two other things that they kind of snuck into these changes. One has to do with illegal subletting. So if you sublet your property to someone without authorized permission from the landlord, that landlord can then at that point terminate your lease right on the spot, no notice required. Another thing they snuck in there is that landlords cannot charge different amounts for different term leases. So what they mean by that is that if I'm offering my unit up for rent, I can't rent it out for 1500 to somebody on a year to year lease or 1600 to somebody on a month to month. I have to charge the same amount regardless of the term. So what do you think about these changes? Good, bad, significant, insignificant? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to get your take on it.